I'm Felina. And I'm Summer. And you are listening to Broke and Broken. <laughs> because we're broke. The podcast about living your best life by getting laid. Hey, broken people. This is Summer. And this is Felina. For this episode, we're letting Kelly Haney take over the podcast. She's going to be our, our host and, and ask us some questions along with Priya, yeah. who's also here. So I'm your host now. Sorry, I took over because... That's kind of what I do. <laughs> because All the she's time. Awesome like that. And we're fine with it. We love it. We we're love we're it. happy to have her. Uh, okay, I want to ask questions. you guys um, just a series of questions. You can give a long or short answer. And if anyone has any input, like any questions they want me to ask, um, go ahead and send them in. Okay? All right, here we go. So, let's see. If what okay let me ask all of you well hang on i'm sorry did you want to do your phone too i i will in a minute okay 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 um that'll be a different thing on my instagram darlin brookie baby (laughs) for all you watching um so let me ask you this what would be your ideal date felina oh geez um ideal date depends on how much i like the person but if i actually really like i mean just in general I am so lazy. Like, <laughs> like just, just take me to eat some good food. It doesn't have to. I, please don't take me somewhere super fancy. I just want it to I be know, that's like, like. It can be awkward. Yeah, like I don't want to go anywhere fancy. Just take me somewhere like a hole in the wall. Go to like a cool pub. Yeah, or like something. a hole in the yeah, wall yeah. place with like the best enchiladas or whatever their specialty is. And then let's go to another hole in the wall bar after and watch some good live music. Like, that's an ideal date for me. Okay. What about you? Uh, Do I have to date? It's so hard. (laughs) Can't they just say, okay, meet me here in five minutes, and I show up, and then I leave when we're done? Like, can I date? That that can be an ideal date, too. Actually, it usually is. But, I mean, if it's somebody that I like, okay, and, like, you know, dinner is fine, but, yes, no, no super fancy or bougie. Don't feed me hipster food, for the love of God. I'm too country for that shit. (laughs) <laughs> seriously I had a, one of my friends who I don't know her finds this podcast ever <laughs> yeah the first date we watched a movie that was great and he's like you want pizza okay pizza is great everybody loves pizza right so we go to this place and it's like spinach and goat cheese and chicken with truffle oil. What the fuck is that? It's not pizza. <laughs> it sounds delicious to me. <laughs> me too. Because I'm bougie as fuck. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I, I've, I made him eat the mushrooms because I could not handle those. But I, I managed through the rest of it. But that was, I have not let him feed me since. <laughs> like, after that, I'm like, we can hang out, but I'm not eating with you ever. <laughs> no bougie food. No. <laughs> Just like low-key... Yeah, well, just hang just out, hang talk out. to me, and be a good lay. That's really sure. all I need. Like, it's, it's good not conversation. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. All right, Priya. So I think I'd say a little bit of a combination <laughs> of the two. Um, yeah, so, like, I would love to go to a not a hipster place. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> no gentrification. Yeah, no <laughs> gentrification or hipster places. Um, but uh, I think, like, checking out music, like, checking out music plays would be really, really fun just because I'm really into, like, checking out, like, local stuff. Um, and then if you want to talk, you can, or you can just stand there and watch me. Right. Yeah, or you can watch me eat. I've had guys do that, too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, um, and if you're a good lay, that's even better. Like, that's maybe we can much. bang it out before we leave the bar. That we're checking so out this rat bathroom. Out there. What are you yeah. like? Yeah. Oh my God. Man. Yeah. It's been a few years my... for her, so she's got to get it in. <laughs> <laughs> If my friends have any yeah, I like though. like enough that I want to bang them in the bathroom, that's a really good date. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yes, but it's so hard to find. Like I find guys who want who talk big and they, oh yeah, they want to do that and they always back out. Pussy. I know. <laughs> Clearly, I picked the wrong guy. Girl, it's fine. Have some decent, you know, like. Have, be conversational. Don't stare at me as I eat my food because that makes me really uncomfortable. That's not right. <laughs> well, because very awkward. that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. And don't so stare I'm at me. I'm going to take the three of you to like some bougie ass brunch. <laughs> is I'll love it. I'll love it. Oh, yeah. the panties yeah. will just fall right off then. And we're going to brunch. <laughs> okay, that's brunch. Okay, that's different. You didn't say brunch. Okay. All right. Let me ask another question, Felina. Mm. So... What has been your most important relationship? Ooh. Uh, 
Um, you don't have to go into all the details, just, you know. Hmm. Uh, important is a very broad word. I mean, right. they've all been important in different ways, I, I'd have to Don't think. try to make them all feel better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's not for them what I did for I mean, It's what they, how they helped me grow and learn. I mean, they all had, you know, some lasting effect on who I am, um, but probably my ex-husband. I sure. mean, he's the father of my child, and uh, he's watched me grow up, really, and uh, even though we're very good friends, uh, and uh, I don't ever want to sleep with him again or be with him, uh, he kind of annoys the Burn. shit out of me. Uh, but uh, <laughs> hope he realized that. Kelly hates yeah, his <laughs> But he, he, no, I get it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, I mean, we grew up together. We were together for a decade, and it was all through my 20s when I was figuring myself out. And then, Girl, I remember. Yeah, and when my mom died, uh, I mean, we got divorced the same day my mom died, and he was there for me and supported me through that, even though he was my ex-husband, and still does. So I'd have to say him. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, important? Gosh. It can be any important any important relationship? I think yeah. mostly my friends. I mean, I was married. Yeah. I was with him for 13 years, and it was great. But I think my friendships, uh, whether they include sex or not, uh, and I guess I was raised that way. My aunties always told me, your friendships are your permanent relationships. Mm -hmm. Men come and go. Mostly because, in all likelihood, our men die way before we do. So you got to <laughs> keep your friendships around. <laughs> so, yeah, I think my friends, and I still have friends. Like I said, some of them are friends with benefits that have been around for years, and I love them. Sure. <laughs> okay. Priya? Uh, I would, since I have never really had a serious relationship, I would definitely say my girlfriends have been, like, super important to me. Um, they've helped me go through shit and grow through shit. So um, I'm very grateful for them for putting up with my crazy ass for as long as they have. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Shout out to the girls. Yes. yes. <laughs> My most important relationship, uh, definitely probably my ex-husband. However, my friends are 100% up there. Like, I mean, my mom. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, my favorite person. But also, um, above all that, I'd probably say my son. I mean, it's just... And I would say the same if I didn't Yeah, no, no, no. Sure, sure. Okay, I did not... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would definitely be my son. He's, like, been so supportive. He's so sweet. So awesome. So amazing. So, next question. Let's see. How do I put this? <laughs> Sounds ominous. <laughs> It does. It's not. I promise. Or is it? It can be. I don't care. <laughs> if you had to spend 48 hours with one man, not your ex-husband, not someone that you're related to, <laughs> who would it be? I mean, like, not any, not, but like, somebody that you know. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, there's this guy uh, that all we do is hook up. And uh, he is in an open relationship, and so we, but we don't get, to, so we don't see each other very often. But uh, I would spend forty eight hours with him, if, if, if and cause, sure, that sounds, cause that sounds like a the good last deal. time, <laughs> the last time I yeah. hooked up with him, we hooked up for like five hours, and I would say probably you could do forty three more, seventy five. <laughs> well, during those five hours, I would say at least. 75% of the time was spent on him going down on me. Nice. And that was Which is amazing. the best sure. and remains to this day and always, I don't know if anybody will ever. Kudos to this guy. Right? right? I mean, Check out good good job. Like, I, and he just, he just spends hours down there. And so 48 hours with him sounds. Guys are like, they don't do I that know. shit. Like, I, I'm so not, I mean, so they do, but not like. They're pussies about it. I, tr I, I refuse to be with someone who yeah. won't. Yeah. I, well, I'm not even like saying the people who right. won't. I'm just saying that anyone who is like actually good at it. Yeah. And you know, most men are not good at the it. The men who yeah. enjoy yeah. doing it. Those are the yes. men for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if yeah. they like doing it, they're usually good All at right. it. True. So true. Okay. So I have a friend. 
who I'm not gonna name because everybody in this room knows him. Oh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I know, I know who it is. I love it. Um, and you know, we we hooked up, and the sex is always great, but he's also brilliant, and we can talk about for hours about all sorts of things from you know social justice to art and it's just a lot of fun to hang out with him and he's one of the few men I will let in my house and let spend the night in my house so that's huge because I don't trust men mm-hmm. so that would he would be fun to hang out with for 48 hours sure and then kick out because that's about as long as I can take anyway and then you're like bye yeah, <laughs> yeah. I usually reach my limit at 36 and I'm like you gotta go okay <laughs> <Yeah>. thank you <laughs> thank you uh, so I would have to say my this guy that I met when I was traveling. Um, okay, that was travel sexy. sexy. Yeah, anyway. travel sex was everything. Like, if you oh haven't God. had it, like, please do yourself a favor. <laughs> um, it was the hottest sex I've ever had in my life. And, like, he went down on me, like, so good. <laughs> You thing, guys, because I think that's what like, we all yeah, like the yeah, most out because that's the one thing he's the only guy, only man I've ever had that was good at it. Right. Women are good at it. Most men are not, but the guy I'm talking about is great at it. Ditto. So yeah. apparently that's that's, the, the, that's the key, man. Yes. If you that's want great sing. oral sex, yes, get good at that. Get better at it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Practice if you must. I don't give a fuck. I'll but volunteer. Yeah. I'll volunteer. <laughs> I'll volunteer to be your practice. Don't do that. Do this. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to teach a course. You're going to have lessons. <laughs> yes. Let me ask you, whenever whenever you have sex with someone, or do you instruct them, like, what you like, what you like to do, or do you like them, or do you just let them kind of do whatever, you know? Oh, no. I, I mean, if they're not doing something that I like, I just take over. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> I feel like, I feel like if you want it done totally, right, do it yourself. I yeah. have literally told a man, okay, let me do this because you're not making it happen. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, I know how to make myself come. Yeah. Like, right. I know how to do it. So can do I can make it happen if they're not doing it. Right. Sure. So it just it just depends. But yeah, if they're good at it, then I'll Good listen. women. Yes. yes. I'm, I'm yeah. not 20 anymore. There are, I'm too yeah, damn there old are to just still a lot of women. I'm too damn like, old to wait around for some motherfucker to figure out. Yes. How to give a good oral sex job. Anything. anything. Yeah. yeah. Right. Anything, anything, really. Yeah. I'm too damn old for that. Yeah. If I'm going to have to finish myself off after you leave, exactly. there was no point in you being here. Yeah. Like, really. There was no point in you being here. I just have to bring out the vibrator once you leave. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm always going to make, I'm going to take care of myself because, you know, they are. So. I'm going to be bossy course. as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but if they're good and, and, and we've got good chemistry, then I like to be told what to do. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like it when you ask them what do they want, and they're just like, whatever. Like, no. Not whatever. But, like, no. you don't know what you like, want. Like, dirty like, shit you want me to do to you, and he'll probably do it. No way. I know. I'm literally asking Listen, what you want. Guys, Tell me like, all the nasty yeah. shit you want me to do to you, because yeah. I will do it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I like to turn them on. Like, I want to. I want you to enjoy this experience exactly. if for it to be memorable. So, and I will be I doing it to... with some Reha back in, in the background, okay? <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> if you were going to make a playlist, where are, like, the top three artists that you would put, like, first, yeah. like, during sex in a playlist? Oh, my God. I Ooh, don't even first, know. So. Childish oh, Gambino? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah. 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 Really yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. I want you to rock my shit. Red that, that, that yes. song, oh. Yeah. Redbone is a good one to get you in the mood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm all about that. Definitely uh, in a top three. Like, if you had to put three artists. You know, I'm so bad at this. I'm, so, <laughs> I, I'm a fucking musician, and, like, I'm terrible at There's this. There's too many options. Oh, Jill like. Scott. Jill yes. Scott. Yes. The video of her giving a blowjob to a microphone. Oh, my God. Can you believe how many people were outraged by that? And I'm like, hey, Jill got skills. I don't know what y'all are talking about. I know. I'm like, be proud. Come right. On. I just want to spend some time with her because I think she can teach me a few things. Right. Put on some Erica Badu. Like, get that oh, yeah. shit in the Erica. mood. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I I don't know if I can answer this. Some Kimmy Chesney. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Just yeah. kidding. No. <laughs> Country. No. I, I would like. I'm not hanging out with you a lot. Yeah. No. I have a very, like, I you know, I want to like like start out. I, I don't just, usually turn on music. Oh, yeah. So it's just whatever. If the man wants it, fine, whatever you oh, want. Oh, man. I don't I, care. Like, oh, I, I want Rihanna's it. rude boy and I talk like that talk to me on I want, like, I want to start out with some, like, I'm not even saying, like, this has to be, like, some romantic mm-hmm. sex or anything, but I'm just saying, like, 
some Otis Redding. I'm sorry. His voice is sexy as yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Sam mm-hmm. Cook, something like that. And then like, you know Al Green. Some, Shit. some T-Rex in there, some like <laughs> cool, like some what like, you know. I'm just gonna need you to make me a sex playlist. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna make you guys a playlist. Can we I should, can we request a sex playlist? Can I you guys put together guys one? I should probably an, just an go and find all the find all the songs that I've made videos to. <laughs> 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 I just put those into a playlist. <laughs> Somebody is going to find my external hard drive and upload that shit online. <laughs> and y'all better, cl- y'all better pay to click. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's damn right. Okay. So. What top three qualities does your ideal man have? Or woman, whatever, you know. Partner. Partner. Sure. Um, let's see. Uh. He has to be honest, um, in a kind way, you know, but honest. Uh, you know, like, bitch, uh-uh. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes <laughs> I might need that, too. Uh, That's I mean, what your girlfriends are for. Yeah, you don't need <laughs> him to talk yeah. like that. Um, but honest in a kind way, emotionally supportive, and um, intelligent, because I find intelligence extremely sexy. So, but not talking down to Alina me. Alina is deep. <laughs> they also got her good head. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Top three qualities. Top three. Oh, that's hard. I mean, I, I want a man who's got his own shit going on, right? He's got to be ambitious. motivated, ambitious, and with that comes integrity. You need to be honest. Independent. Like independent. Of, yeah. I don't want him in my business all the time, which means he better, Preach. He better live somewhere else because he ain't living with me. <laughs> <laughs> Really care where, but not with me. And he's in the alley around the corner. <laughs> you know, as long as he takes a shower before cool. he comes over, I'm good. Um, <laughs> and the sex better be good, or he's not like there's not going to be a second, a okay, second that's try. Like one million. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> we some picky bitches. Okay, yeah. Independent, ambitious, and great in the sack. Those are my top yes, three qualities. Girl. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. If you ain't getting me off, then we gotta have a serious conversation. Yes. Well, that's not a conversation. That's like a. It's a bad. That's more like bitch. See you at the door. <laughs> yeah. You block them. That's a <laughs> hashtag <laughs> boy bye situation. Yes. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. This was so fun interviewing these babes over here <laughs> <laughs> on their dirty shit. <laughs> They're a lot dirtier than they are on this podcast. I promise you, um, DM me. I will tell you exactly what they said. um, All the secrets. I'm way more honest than they are. (laughs) (laughs) I I can probably answer all these questions for you guys. No. Love you guys. Bye.
Rivera, everybody. We're now live with Felina Rivera. Let me ask you a question. Um, so, what should your hashtag be? Should you have, like, you know, an, an actual hashtag? <laughs> well, I already go, go by Felina in the field, so that's my band's name, so I hashtag it. Oh, Blake is on. Say, hey, Blake. What's hey, up? Blake. Uh, no, I hashtag being Felina in the fields right now, but uh, since my name comes from a Marty Robbins song about a man who kills himself or gets killed over his love for uh, wicked Felina, uh, Marty Robbins uh, El Paso, <laughs> check it out. I think my uh, hashtag should be uh, hashtag wicked Felina. Okay. Oh, I have no idea. Next. <laughs> I used to have a hashtag that was recovering TK, but I had to put up full accounts. That was oh, cool. Aaron Riddell is on here too. Hey, Aaron. I don't know who that is, but hi. <laughs> but I don't have one now. You guys could give me one because I'm boring as fuck. I, I know. Think. You are so not boring. Okay, what would her hashtag well, be? be? Hashtag, look at those top ties. <laughs> I know. Are you kidding me? Jeez. <laughs> Woman. I oh, okay, Priya. <laughs> Priya, what's your hashtag? Fuck you, Penny. <laughs> <laughs> So mine is mine's probably just like like okay i don't even know how to i don't know how to, oh wait here it is <laughs> mine would probably be like hashtag jack's mom because don't i don't do anything either. ever <laughs> i sit at home i read books to get smarter no. Then all you motherfuckers, yes. Aaron and Blake, <laughs> love you guys, but like, yeah. Um, yeah. No, Just you, be like. Gonna, you are far more interesting than you give yourself credit for. I know, right? Yeah. Oh shit, I'm interesting as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna oh, pretend, yeah, but. And you, I cannot wait for December 22nd, because you're gonna open for our band. I okay. will. Yeah. La, 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 la. December 22nd, I'm going to open for Felina. Blake, you can't be there because you have to watch Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Erin, but you can't watch Jack. <laughs> okay, so next question. Um, Okay. Are See, my mind goes, again? no, actually, my mind goes, like, all political. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to. I'm sure it can make it dirty. <laughs> okay, what, okay, let me ask you, this is both. Who was the hottest politician in your mind? Oh, I don't like any politicians. I don't like politicians. I hate them, so. Like, any of them. I mean, Kennedy was hot, but. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's I'm like Barack is hot as hell. Yeah. Well, Hello. Yeah. It really did it for yeah. Me. yeah. No, that's yeah. Awesome. What about you? Yeah, I'd say him or who's the um the oh. woman oh. congressman that just got elected? But Justin Trudeau. Oh, oh Trudeau. Oh, Trudeau. Trudeau. Oh, you mean? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Canadian. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Prime Minister. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's super hot. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron. Aaron Riddell said Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Aaron. I know that's a joke, but that's that's really funny. Keep bringing it because these bitches like. Wait, who? So, Aaron. You need to ask more questions of ask these the questions. gals. We're at your will. Ask all the questions. Oh, Lord. Don't say that you're at his will, <laughs> like, ever. <laughs> what other questions you got? Um, okay. So, favorite color? Favorite color? Black Come on. Like my soul. Same. Yeah, same. 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 Black with some glitter. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> My favorite color is lavender and gold and like sparkles. Jack knows. Jack knows and pink. Jack knows all this. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. I'm ridiculous. Um, okay, so what is a secret you've never told anyone? Can we tell you now? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty much an open book, so I don't really have any that I haven't ever I like told. it. Same. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> I'm the same way. out there. Like, same. I, I, don't, I can't think of anything. I mean, I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Yeah, I mean, I'm Priya. Priya. Secrets. Oh. I don't and then, know. and then Kaylee has a question. If I don't okay. catch on fire from this <laughs> fucking candle, <laughs> there's a candle like right under me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now we've got smoke. Okay. Priya. What's a secret? Oh. Any secret that you haven't told anyone? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. I don't think yeah. that you really probably don't have any. Nice <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, I was telling you that you know, should have told people, but like, it's all okay. Bad. So we have a question. Kaylee Simone asked favorite local music group. Well, myself, the Lena in the field. Okay, <laughs> you cannot <laughs> say yourself. Uh, uh, original flow and the fervent route. I really love those guys. Okay, first of all, that's bullshit. It's the Yo Johnny girls. Oh my god! <laughs> no, I'm, just I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Of course, it's the Yo Johnny girls, but I never get to see you guys anymore. And because uh, yeah, we never, I we rarely play. play. We play like, <laughs> play like twice a year. But, uh, <laughs> um, I've not heard original flow. Uh, oh no! Yeah, yeah, he's great. The yeah, yeah. Route, and they're just all wonderful guys. And great musicians and they care and they're politically active and they're involved in their community and so they're and their music's fantastic so they're one of my favorites okay i don't know that i have an answer for this the you're only, like the only local musicians i ever want you're like are my friends so it's like Paulina, yeah. and jamie and the band and the clock of things i'm sorry that. i'm sorry felina and who jb <laughs> okay funny funny girl um, I would probably say, uh, I haven't seen you perform yet. Uh, just now, I saw you perform, so yeah, I'll count that. Um, and then um, JB's the, the only other person that I... And because I haven't seen you perform either. See, how is have, that yeah. even, like, how have you... Oh, my... Priya. I, I live under a rock. That's Same. my problem. Priya. Same. I don't go anywhere unless my friends say, I need you to come to my show. Oh, my God. Go. Um, Nick... My best suit. Nick is on. He just joined us now. I'm waving at him. Hi. Hey, Nick. He's like this like super hot guy that like dated like my friend for like a second, like kind of for a second. Um, he's seen us. Are I'm we good? Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys are fantastic. I've seen you before. It's been too long. Yeah, it's been a long time since you've but seen us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me ask you another question. Um. What does your ideal person look like? Oh, fuck. I mean, like, I know it's hard. Like, if like you had dude? to... Like, a guy? Like, a, some... It, yeah. Some guy I want to... Yeah, okay. Um, well, I hate to... Well, if you look at my history, all the guys I just look the same. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm what you'd call a lumber sexual. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to... I want the guy to look like he can throw me around a little bit. So if he's got a flannel shirt on and a and a axe, like I probably will be into it. <laughs> How about you wear that? Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think my only type is like broken psychopaths. They don't all look the same for sure. I don't know. Mine all have beards. Just hot. <laughs> oh god, and I hate to admit this because I hate myself. No. <laughs> Who, like, who okay. are you attracted to? Like, See, what's your thing? <laughs> okay. Hey, girl. <laughs> Same. I, I don't know. It's a thing. I like, I it's, it's all the, the, I like the hipster bearded dudes. Like, I'm embarrassed by it, too. <laughs> Like, I, I was told the 
other day that oh skinny God. white boys are not good for you. And they I don't know who needs to hear that. They are not. Apparently I do. <laughs> I need to hear that on repeat. <laughs> they are not. Again. <laughs> Same. I am so done with white men forever. They really like me. No, Okay, hey guys, let's get your Tinder shit out so we can so we can swipe on other people's Tinder. Whoa, tell me your messages. Wait, is that somebody that I swiped for you? Probably. Well, show us. Oh, you didn't answer, so he. Kenny is 30 and 8 miles away, and I feel like the two years I have an advantage <laughs> over him is going to wipe the floor with whatever he has to offer. Wait, 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 wait. He messaged her. Go back to the message. Okay. He messaged her, and she didn't answer. Uh, so an hour and a half she, later, you? he messaged again. You? Yeah. <laughs> thirsty. He's thirsty. Are you thirsty? <laughs> yes, he is. Thirsty, thirty. <laughs> Felina Comments here. Jeez, I get woman. A, a request to be the guitar a lot right? in this photo. I don't think I should. Oh, yeah, God. Like, hey, yeah. I want to be the guitar. <laughs> yeah. From your, um, yeah. From my podcast. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she, did a, she did a photo shoot just for her episode. I did. I don't have any interesting messages right now. Hey, I, I, I did a, well, I would, <laughs> but my phone is recording. <laughs> I would yeah. show you. We can't look through yours. Yeah. It's actually, I think, on my Instagram, so, like, whatever. Whatever. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. No. What are we looking at? I was looking Do you guys at have any questions for these women? Oh, shit, where's that? Like, relationship, um, life questions, anything. Diabolical shit that I don't know if I want to be a part of. You like white boys? He's right in your alley. Rub it in, why don't you? Thank you. Hey, I like always date like a white boy. Like, I don't know. Why? They're so. But like, I I date like, I date like white boys who are like, like my ex husband was like, I mean, he's a little creek, but he also (laughs) was. Like, when I started dating him, he was um, in Native American studies. That was his fucking major, okay? <laughs> like, I was like, am I a part of this study? <laughs> like, I don't know. Am I? You're welcome. You're welcome. We had a gorgeous baby. Opposites attract, and, like, I think there's something biological to it, like, for uh, dominant oh, genes, you know, yeah, healthy genes, mm-hmm. best to be. Hey, tell Justin hi. Hi, Justin. Uh, but I think it's, I think it's somewhat biological. Like I just am like physically attracted to white men, and I think there's some biological reason for that. Like, sure, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Please say that one more time. Very clearly. White dudes age like milk after 30. Bottom line. Bottom line. Yeah, I could. Like, I will say that. I mean, you're all. I just died. I'm I'm very brown. <laughs> and you're brown. And, and, and we're yeah, we're we're all brown. We're all brown ladies. And we're gonna stay looking a little younger than we actually are. I mean I get mistake I'm thirty seven and I get mistaken for like twenty nine. Yeah. I get ID'd all the time. Yeah. However, I also work but, at Skin Lab. But so like yeah. I mean Well the problem is is that I get these men who are much younger than me interested yes. in me. And oh God! Sex same, is great yeah. Because they can see. I'm like, like I don't even know. Y'all are awesome ass hoes. Like, I don't do this shit. Like, I just don't. I don't know. 
I, I don't know. I need to, like, get on your level. Like, I'm just, like, I stay home and I read fucking books. <laughs> like, I go through phases where, like, I need to get laid pretty regularly. Sure, sure. I can go through a phase where I'm just, like, not interested, but when I am, I want to have my options available. <laughs> so, you know, and, and it's always, it's always, I mean, I'm doing them a favor, too. It's not like. Yeah, it's not like they're not. Okay, let me ask you a question. If you match with somebody on Tinder that's just, like, passing through, like, a musician, mm-hmm. like, just. Like, I'm not going to fuck a musician. I, I know I'm a musician, but that motherfucker's probably got some STDs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm done. I, 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 I've done it a couple times. He's passing through at one stop. I get no publicity for the night. Didn't ask the name. Don't care. Don't care. Well, see, my thing is, like, I've never heard the music oh, either, so I don't know what I this love is. being on this <laughs> end of the camera. Like, I'm Yes, thank you. Yeah, sure, yeah. Sex. And yeah. so I don't want anybody who's out of town because the, the, the sex is really good. Oh, well, good. I wasn't trying to see him again. You don't want to, like, it's, like, out of town. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. right after the last round of makeup sex with the last guy. So, you know, you got to have five or hey, six. I've been there. To I've been there. You know, you got to cleanse the palate. Yeah. yeah. So that's the best way, you yeah. know. Okay. So, <laughs> so out, out of town, musician guy says... <laughs> What's right. up? Uh, no, 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 no. Like, we're friends. Like, it's not, <laughs> not a thing. But he's, yeah, he's on live. Say hi, guys. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh, I like how you guys, like, all, like, hello. Like, hello. Hello, hello. Hey, guys. This is... 99.4 like <laughs> like I don't know <laughs> like what the fuck like what is wrong with you guys like no we have issues clearly right okay so let me ask you a question Felina mm-hmm. starting, off, sorry, start starting, starting off I'm sorry I always start off with you me. well you're okay. just you're right here <laughs> what what are your your issues like what would you say are your downfalls ooh um I, I'm like I'm con- I know mine. I'm yeah, like no, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> I don't know how to share. Uh, I'm I'm a little uh, I set in my ways and I don't like to be flexible. Uh, so it, you're it, like, but I am flexible. But I am. No. <laughs> uh, I'm messy. I'm a little messy. Uh, <laughs> but how? <laughs> no. <laughs> Like I'm like me and Dave are best friends. We can turn anything like dirty. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've, no, I mean, I've been through a lot of recent self reflection, so I, I I feel like I've okay. made some improvements lately. Uh, but I, I've got some blind spots for sure, and uh, I tend to uh, I don't know. I feel like I should be able to contain myself a little bit more. Oh, no. Okay, we're, we're moving on. Moving on. <laughs> you come back to me. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I have a ton of issues. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Uh, I have PTSD, so that makes me a little bit crazy as fuck. Um, I have eight billion children. <laughs> <laughs> eight billion. Oh, I have five. <laughs> Holy mother See? fucking <laughs> shit. I have one, and like, I, I love you. I respect that right, shit. Right. But Jesus. But <laughs> Yeah. You know, and I work like 33 jobs, so I don't have time for people either. Yeah. So 33 quite, jobs. That's like, a lot. Three or four, but still. That's yeah, a, yeah, lot. a lot. Yeah. yeah. So, Wait, know. what do you do though? Um, What's your I'm favorite? My job is I'm a social worker, and then I do. I'm a That's a hard job. So I do like contract work for other attorneys. Mm hmm. Um, Sure. So, yeah. We're all busy as fuck, ladies. We're and then the podcast, which pays yeah. millions. Uh, we need to Priya. Uh, what about you? Let's see. I have a mouth on me. But she knows how to use Awesome. Awesome as fuck. I can yeah. also be, oh, uh, what's the, like, I'm, 
I, I'm fiercely loyal to a fault. That's not to a fault. That's just, like, awesome. <laughs> okay, there's no, like, fiercely loyal to a fault. That's just, like, a good fucking person. Okay. Like, even if I get burned, I'm still... Same. Yeah. Same. I don't learn my fucking lesson. That's my problem. I don't learn my lesson, but I just... I don't care. I well, just I let it go. I don't know. to set boundaries, which is yes. a thing that I, I didn't know how to that. do before. And if it would have been, if we would have had this conversation six months ago, I would have been like, I don't know how to set boundaries to let everybody walk all over me. But lately I've been like, nope, I'm not going to do that shit anymore. So that's yeah. no longer a flaw. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> ask a question. <laughs> Anything. I might be a little controlling. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Okay. Um, no one's asking a question. Okay, Justin, don't ask a question. Fine. My no. <laughs> Hashtag. Just kidding. <laughs> In that. <laughs> it was like, oh, it, it, do no, you guys want to sing, sing another song? I do, and I want to buy a CD. Oh, <laughs> I do have some. Okay, um, okay, yeah, we have. Well, hell, let me think what song I should play. I'll play a pretty one. I'll play a pretty song. That was a pretty okay. one, but yes. Well, it's an angry one. Yeah. I'll play but a, it was still pretty. I'll play a sad one. All my songs are either sad or angry. Kaylee, Kaylee <laughs> Simone <laughs> says, of course. <laughs> All right. This is called To the Moon. I wrote this in about, it just like came out of me in like 45 minutes after my mom died. And it's, it's my favorite. Please don't 
You can contact the podcast at BrokeBrokenPodcast at gmail.com. The Broken Broken Podcast can be found on Twitter at Broke Broken Show, on Instagram and Facebook at Broke Broken Podcast.